today we're going to learn all about subtraction. Amazing! So subtraction is better understood in relation to a concept that we have already learned. Which was that? Addition. Yes. Subtraction is the reverse process or the inverse yeah. or the opposite of? Addition. Yes. So Isha, what were you doing in addition? Putting things together and finding the total number or the sum. Yes. And what do we do in subtraction? Taking away things that you had first. And also finding the missing part or the left part. Exactly. Let's see this with the help of an example. Ishan, how many cubes do you have? Five. Okay. Now I give you three more. So how many do you have now? Eight. So what are we doing here? Addition. And what is the addition number sentence? Five plus three equals eight. Yes. Now let me play a game. Let me hide what I gave you. What, what am I doing? Subtraction. And how many do you have left? Five. Exactly. So addition was putting things together and finding the total. And subtraction is taking some part and finding the missing part or the part that is left. Let's do a quick recap with some of the key concepts. So Ishan, what is addition? Addition is putting things together and finding total number or the sum. And what is the answer to the addition problem called? Sum. And what do we do with subtraction? Taking things away. And what does subtraction tell you? How many are left? How many are taken away? How many more or less? We learn more about it. It's actually about comparison. Ishan, what is the answer to the subtraction problem called? Different. Yes. And Ishan, what are some of the key words you will hear when somebody gives you a subtraction problem? Take away, minus, subtract. What are some of the key words you will hear when somebody asks you the answer to a subtraction problem? How many are taken away? How many are left? How many more or less? Answer, part of the whole, find the missing part. Amazing! So Ishan, let's learn about subtraction number sentence. Can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? 8 minus 3 equals 5. What does this minus sign mean here? To take away things. Okay, and what does this equal sign mean? Both the sides are same. Correct. And what is this called? The difference or the answer. Great job. Ishan, let's do an example of a subtraction problem. So there are five birds on the tree. Two birds fly away. How many birds are left? Three. Can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? Five minus two equals three. This is subtraction. We are taking things away or some parts are going away and we subtract 2 from 5 to get the answer. Great job! Now let's learn various ways to learn subtraction. The first is with our favorite math link cubes or any other object for that matter. Now Ishan, you have 7 math link cubes, okay? okay. If I take away 2, how many do you have? 5! One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And can you tell me the subtraction number sentence for this? Seven minus two equals five. Great job. Now suppose Ishan, you have to do a subtraction problem in your notebook. We can do that with the help of some pictures, okay? So Ishan, to begin with, you have six balls, okay? You gave two balls to your friend. How many balls do you have? Four. One, two, three, four. And can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? Six minus two equals four. Great job. Now let's try and understand subtraction with the part whole concept. This is a yummy pizza. How many slices does it have? Six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. You are very hungry. You ate two slices. So how many are left? Four. Yes. And that's me taking a baiting. And that's subtraction. Exactly. And can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? Six minus two equals four. Great job. So the part one concept is actually more about number bonds. Stay tuned for our later videos where we learn all about number bonds and we'll see how we can learn addition and subtraction even more effortlessly and rather simultaneously. Now we're going to learn how to compare two sets of objects or two numbers with the help of subtraction. So Ishan, you have nine red cubes, okay? I have four green cubes. Who has more cubes? Me. How many more do you have? Five. How did you do it? Can you explain? Match one to one and then I have four cubes that are matched from one to one and there's five unmatched cubes. And that is the answer, exactly. And can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? Nine minus four equals five. Anisha, can you tell me who has fewer cubes? You. How many fewer? Five fewer. Exactly, the same way. So we match one to one. So four of them are matched. And the unmatched cubes is the answer. That is five. Great job. Now let's do an example where we'll compare two sets of objects or two numbers with the help of subtraction. Now Ishan, there are eight oranges and six apples. Can you tell me how many more oranges we have? Two. How did you do? Can you explain? First, match one to one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's two unmatched oranges, then apples. That means there's two more oranges than apples. Right, great job. And what is the subtraction number sentence? 8 minus 6 equals 2. Exactly. This is how we compare two sets of objects. We match one to one. And the unmatched object that is left tells you how many more. So this is how we compare two sets of objects with the help of subtraction. So 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. Great job. Now let's learn another method of doing subtraction. That is the counting back strategy. So Ishan, what is 10 minus 2? 8. How did you do? Can you explain? Counting back two numbers like 9, 8. Exactly. And most common mistake kids make when they ask count back two numbers, they do 10 and 9. Do not include the number that is being counted back from. So the answer would be 9 and 8. Great job. Exactly. So it's the same thing. Remember when we learned counting on an addition? So Ishan, what is 6 plus 3? 9. Can you explain how you did? 7, 8, 9. Exactly. So you did not include 6. So when we count on, we do not include the number that is counted on from. So you did 7, 8 and 9. The same thing in counting back. So 10 minus 2, you do not include the number that is counted back from. So the answer is 9, 8. So the answer is 8. Great job. So Ishan, let's do some examples of counting back. What is 7 minus 3? We, we're going to count back three numbers from 7, 6, 5, 4. So the answer is 4. What is 9 minus 2? We're going to count back two numbers from 9, 8, 7. So the answer is 7. What is 10 minus 1? We're going to count back one number from 10, 9, so the answer is 9. Great job! Count back strategy works well for smaller numbers like minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. For subtracting larger numbers, stay tuned for our later videos on number bonds and fact families coming up. And also, uh, you know, when the sum is larger than 10, we use base 10 of our number system rather than just counting on a counting back. Let's learn our last method of doing subtraction that is the number line. 
A number line shows numbers in order from left to right and the tick marks on the number line stands for the whole numbers. So Ishan, here is a number line. Let's do the subtraction problem 5 minus 2. How will you do it on the number line? I have to start at 5 and hold back from 2 spaces from 5. One, two, so the answer is three. Right, so how backward is the key word. It eliminates the mistake of counting back the number you begin with. Let's do some examples of subtraction on the number line. Ishan, what is seven minus three on the number line? You have to start from seven and hold back three spaces. One, two, three, so the answer is four. Yes, great job. What is 10 minus four? So to start from 10 and hold back, hold back for four spaces from 10. One, two, three, four, so the answer is six. What is six minus four on the number line? So to start from six and hold back four spaces from six, one, two, three, four. So the answer is two. What is nine minus two? You have to start from nine and hold back two spaces from nine. One, two. So the answer is seven. What is eight minus one? You have to start from eight and hold back, hold backward. One space from eight. One. So the answer is seven. Great job. 30 minus 20 equals 10. Hope you liked the video. Click the red button and subscribe to get more videos from us. Hope you like this video. If you do like this video, do not forget to like the video on YouTube and do leave us a comment below. And stay tuned for our later videos on subtraction part 2 wherein we'll discuss the properties of subtraction and do some worded problems on subtraction. And our videos on number bonds, fact families and addition subtraction of larger numbers. Thank you and goodbye.